status with Sterling Machinery Exchange. We've been buying, selling, and trading new and used equipment, such as press brakes, shears, grinders, lathes, saws, mills, and much more since 1954. Today we're going to go over a very basic, simple, manual cold saw, show you some of our other cold saws that we have in stock right now, just so you can kind of see the, the difference between the, them. Uh, we do carry these all new and used. We carry Doringer. This is Biwoo, which is actually a Scotchman brand. Uh, we also carry them as well. So there's a few different options. I'm just going to start off with the basics. You'll notice here is just a simple vice clamp, manual. Pull the guy down. Your coolant's going to be coming through the blade, and that's going to allow you to make your cut. When you go to something more like this, you'll notice there's two different vices. This is actually air vices. So as soon as I pull this down, the air is going to go ahead and allow this to close just a little bit. And, uh, and you can go to your next step. Again, manual vice, air vices. You see, as soon as you pull it down, it only has to go a little bit just to get your piece in there. You're already going to have them all set up from your basic setup right here on your main vice part. You're just shoving your piece down, closing it in, pulling the saw down, and go on to your next step. Now, take a look at this one over here. This is a brand new saw. This actually has not only the air vice, but it also has a power feed in the back. So this is going to allow this to make the head go down. The vice is going to clamp, unclamp, head goes back up. All you have to do is shuffle your piece down. Of course, we can go over further from that and put an automatic feed system in too, just depending on what you're needing. Right now, we're going to go right back to this basic manual saw. This is actually a 12 inch saw. We'll go ahead and turn the power on. You have a two speed switch right here. Here's our low speed. Very simple. And our high speed. Now when I say low and high speed, it's still gonna be pretty low in terms of RPM. On a cold saw cutting steel, a ferrous material, you're gonna be going real slow, kind of grinding into it around 50 to 100 RPM as opposed to if you're doing something with a non-ferrous aluminum or brass, you'd be going in the 1500 RPM, 1000 RPM, a lot faster to go through a cut through and make a real clean cut. Uh, last thing to show you right here is just a basic pull this guy out and that's going to allow you to swivel your head, give you your miter cuts, and do whatever you need to do. Now if you're looking to buy, sell, or trade something, new or used, doesn't have to be a saw. If you want to trade a mill for a saw, we're here for that. We can help you out. Give us a call at 626-444-0311. You can check out our website at sterlingmachinery.com. Thank you.
Sterling Machinery sells all types of metalworking, fabricating, and chip making machinery such as lathes, metal shears, press brakes, punch presses, punches, grinders, milling machines, saws, plate rolls, iron workers, inspection equipment, welders, and much more. Sterling Machinery is one of the largest stocking dealers of new and used machine tools in the United States. You can view over 2,000 machine tools available for inspection on our floor or visit www.sterlingmachinery.com to view all machine specifications, photos, videos, prices, and buyer's guides for all types of equipment. If you can't find the machine you're looking for, please give us a call at 626-444-0311 and our educated staff can find the right machine for you.